This week on Scam School, a logical conundrum that's difficult while sober and impossible while drunk. Don't follow me. <laughs> all right, Jensen, all right, Mark, woo. All right, back again at the Rusty Cannon Pub here with Jensen and Mark. And I got a quiz for you that's very, very simple. 90% of everyone who takes this quiz does not pass. I've got four cards here. This is the part that is 100% true. Each of these four cards has a letter on one side and a number on the other side. And there's a thesis I want you to test, a theory that I want you to prove by turning over the fewest number of cards possible. The theory is, if a vowel is showing on one side, then the other side must have an even number on it. Obviously, if we wanted to be lazy, you could find out by turning over all four and verifying like, oh yeah, no, that's definitely the case. But the question is, how few of these cards can you turn over to prove that in this set, the rule is true? There's an even number on this side, on the other side. How do you know? Because that's a vowel. This is an odd number. Yeah. So it must not be a vowel on the other side. And remember, our goal is not to just accept the theory is true. Our goal is to prove the theory. Or disprove. Hmm. So we've got to flip one card over at least to figure this theory out. So we've got a vowel and we've got an even number. So this should have a vowel on the end. This should have an even number. So if we flip one of these over, we should be able to prove or disprove the theory. Yep, 100% sure. Final answer. <laughs> All right, so you flipped over the A. So, so far, the theory is true. That's right, so this is one that you flipped. Is Are you done? Is it proven now? Or is there more you need to do? That K is throwing me off, because we got odds and evens now. I think maybe this one. Can I flip that one? Any, any other ones? Is that going to be the last one? Eight should be a vowel, because it's an even number. Five should not be a vowel. Yep. But that K, that's standing out to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it, how many and which cards would you turn? I'm gonna say that we actually have to turn the numbers over. Didn't you want this one flipped over? I did, but only because it stuck out to me and I know this is trickery at its best. Okay, all right, so yeah, we can do three. I'm all gonna right. say the three. Are you guys ready for the answer? I'm ready for the answer. All right, well answer. here, first you gotta toast me. <laughs> Hello, Scam School. We are Domain.com. Over the years, we have been watching you. The financial abuse of your wallets. The corruption of your ease of use. The cover-ups of reliability. All for the sake of Penny Pinching. This is why we at Domain.com have decided you must register with us. We are efficient and reliable. We do not compromise. We are relentless. We will not stop until every tentacle of your website is thriving. Read our demand. And we will respectfully disagree with your choice. First. Register a website immediately with Domain.com. Second, release yourself from illegitimate prisons of debt with promo code SCAMSCHOOL for 15% off. The people are realizing they have freedom of choice and quality. Consider yourself warned. This is an often repeated study, and when they do this under these same conditions with those same rules, 50% of the time people pick the A and the 8 because the rule says if there's a vowel on one side, an even number has to be on the other side. So which do you flip over, the vowel and the even number, to see what's on the other side? 20% of people only put the first one to see whether or not it's true on there. And 20% of other people pick some other incorrect combination. Only 10% of people get the actual correct question which is it's A and five. But here's why nobody thinks of it. The reason A and eight are wrong is because your goal is not to prove the theory. Your goal is to try as hard as possible to disprove the theory. And the easiest way to disprove it would be if it's an A on here and it was an odd number, then you would flatly have destroyed the theory. If you flip over this eight, let's say it was a K on the other side. That doesn't change anything because we never said that there couldn't be an even number on the other side of a consonant. The important one was this five here because the theory would be totally destroyed if what? If that was a vowel on That's the right. other side. That's right, exactly. When you flip it over and see there's a vowel, then you know that it's possible for it not to be an even number. Now you've broken the theory once and for all. But if it makes you feel better, you guys are right in line with 90% of everyone else who ever takes this test. I thought we were in the 10%. <laughs>
<laughs> this challenge is a variation on the classic waste and selection task that reveals intuitive biases that we all have. I love learning about these cognitive trickeries, and if you want to suggest your favorite one for us to explore, write me at brian at schwood.com. There is no C in schwood, and of course we should be best friends at twitter.com slash schwood. Don't miss next week, because we're going to move beyond the waste and selection task and move on to the waste and selection cask, which I imagine is filled with ale or wine, hopefully ale, or some distilled spirits. I have to select it. Oh, maybe that's the selection. I love revealing cotton, blah, 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 blah. But also, if we flipped the five and it wasn't a vowel, the theory stays true. And then if we flip the eight and it was a vowel, the theory clearly must be true. You're, you're, try, you're trying to read, I'm stone-faced, <laughs> my friend. You get nothing. <laughs>